Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on adding whole numbers using a written method. So we've got two three digit numbers here, we're doing 346 plus 237. And what we're going to use is a technique known as column addition. And that means that we're just going to write each number one row to itself, so 346 plus 237. And what it means to have column addition is that each column represents a place value. So the place value to the right is the units column, and we don't need to write that in when we do our working, but we make sure that all the numbers in the same column have the same place value, with the rightmost column being the units column. So that would be the tens column, that would be the hundreds column. Now what we do is we put a line under it like that, and then we're going to add the digits in each row starting from the right. So we're going to start from the right and gradually work our way to the left. So we do 6 plus 7, which is 13. And what we do is with the 13, we put the units digit of that here. So we put the 3 here of the 13. And then the tens digit in 13 was 1. And what we do with the 1, rather than write it here, we say we carry the 1 and we put the 1 just below this gap where we're going to put the next digit. So this is known as the carry. It's what's carried over to the next column. We now work on the next column. So we've got four plus three is seven, but we add on whatever carry have. So we've got four plus three is seven, plus the extra one as the carry is eight. So we put eight here. And there's no carry this time because eight is just a single digit number, that's fine. And now we do three plus two, that's just five. Again, no carry, so we're absolutely fine. So this is the answer, 583. Let's do this next slightly harder one. Again, we arrange our numbers, one row to each number. And what we do is we kind of right align these numbers. So imagine a little line on the right here. You're going to push the numbers up against that imaginary right line here. And that makes sure that the units digits are the rightmost digits of each of the numbers. Again, we're going to put a line under here. And let's add each of the digits in each column. So 4 plus 6 is 10. So remember, we put the units digit of the result, that 10. We put the 0 here. And what's the tens digit in 10? Well, it's 1. So we put the carry of 1 here. We next do the 9 plus 7 in the next column to the left. 9 plus 7 is 16, plus that carry of 1 is 17. So we put the 7 here, and again carry the 1. Because in 17, the tens digit was 1. 7 plus 8 is 15, plus that carry of 1 is 16, so we put the units digit in 16 here and put the tens digit of 16 here. And then finally we've got 1 plus nothing, so it's still 1, but plus that carry of 1, we get 2. Now you might wonder what happens if we still have a carry when we get to the end. So if I just do a quick example, let's say we had 79 plus 63. Now when we do 9 plus 3, that's 12, so we put the 2 here, carry of 1. Now 7 plus 6 is 13, plus the 1 is 14, so we put the 4 here, the units digit. Now if we've got no digits left to add, if we had 14, we just literally just write 14. So that carry of 1 just becomes a big digit to the left of your number.